Hi, I'm Emily. I'm going to show you how to create a Roblox character using CSM and the tools we provide. The first thing I did was create a style pack with a folder of Roblox character references, and I trained this style pack so I can generate images similar to Roblox characters you can see in the game or online. Once the style pack is done training, you'll go and click on it and start generating whatever images you want from it. Um, here I specified it being a pirate Roblox character, but then I went ahead and did a chef for this demo. Once I have an image I liked, I'm going to use the parts base asset packs. This is a good workflow for this in general. Um, here I can either upscale or go next. I went next and I started segmenting the certain parts of the character out. You can kind of play around with this, see what works and what doesn't. So I just do as many as I can and different things. So I'll do like the top with the arms, just the top, the body, the pants, or just the head. See what works out the best because you'll be surprised what works and what doesn't. Some of the segmented images need to be edited so it comes out a bit better. You want to give these the best chance of being the best meshes ever. So we'll go in and paint, roughly paint in some of the missing spots, um, type in what it is, and then you generate, and it typically gives you a better output. Um, and I did this for both the arms, um, and you can do this for any part space workflow. So then I set up all the settings. I ended up using a slow refine. To me, slow refine sometimes works the best when it comes to characters. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that. Um, I went back and added a few more. And then I press next. And that's it. We wait for it to uh, generate the meshes. Some of the meshes will have weird texturing or texturing that just needs to be cleaned up so that's what i did with two of the pieces so i did the body and then i also cleaned up the head as well so i just go in and use the paintbrush to kind of blend in the colors a bit better so they're not so drastic um, i removed the little weird writing on the front with this head it was double-sided so i went and used the color brush as well and just painted over the double-sided area um, and fixed his hair in the back as well this makes it really easy and quick to do um, and i do this before I, I export the pieces of the mesh out The next step was I imported the pieces and I aligned them to each other so they look a bit natural and more like the reference image. Um, keep animation in mind if that's where you're taking it. Um, here I set up the arms and then duplicate the arm and just mirrored it. In the next step, I just fixed up any flaws in the geometry. Um, sometimes it's not perfect or I want it to be a little bit better in certain areas. So I'll go in with the sculpting tool and maybe push and pull certain areas, smooth out certain areas. It's all kind of up to you what you want to do. And this is just an additional step that I took. You don't have to take it. What I did next was just clean up any of the maybe harsh edges between the different textures or the UV maps. Um, this is also just a preference, but I think it looks a lot better once you clean it up just a little bit more. I use the comb brush and blender to kind of blend it out a bit more. Don't it, baby. 
I did the same thing with the head as well. I just cleaned up any of those really rough transitions between the light and dark areas. And here is the final output. Uh, in another video, I'll show you how to import and use this character in Roblox. Bye!